Good, super early morning. We're so glad you're here. Let's go get these eggs. I didn't think I'd get to see Sarah, but I got to come back before she goes under general, not general. No, no, no. It's just like it's like I'm putting a scene. Laughing gas almost, but I did not think I'd get to see you. I know, I was nervous too, so I'm happy. I'm glad I didn't go upstairs yet. But I'm all cozy. I got our ID in and everything. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. DVC lounge? What? Alright, so Sarah is out. I just spent the last 30 minutes with her. They got her all ready. She's all good, just a little groggy. But I'm gonna move the car around to a special door and they're gonna wheelchair her out. She feels good. She feels great. Here she is. <laughs> my little warrior, my champ. He did it. How many? Sixteen. Sixteen eggs. So that's Start with. what we're starting off with. We'll find out tomorrow how many were mature. We'll find out tomorrow how many were fertilized. And but we'll wait till the next. Start with. Twenty would be overstimulated. Like more than twenty would be overstimulated. And they wouldn't do that without a minimum of two. So really a great, great starting a point. really strong, great starting point for us. So now we gotta go home and take care of this chicky bird. So we're getting gas really quick because we were almost empty. And then we'll hop on I-4 and go home. But I just had the thought that like, what does Flynn say? All the things we've seen and it's only eight in the morning. That's what I feel like right now. I'm so happy. Lots of steps to come. Lots of steps to and come. Like, we gotta start with the solid foundation. Like, we could uh, end up with one to three embryos at the end of this, but that's only because we're starting with 16, because this woman right here is the best person <laughs> in the whole world, and her body is so strong and good. Takes we're home. Sarah just got comfies. Yes. I got the TV. I moved the TV to our bedroom so she can watch Newsies and rest in bed with Eve. We're going to have a Christian Bale movie marathon. I'm going to go edit the vlog. Sarah's got a Coke and a cup of water and a protein cookie because she wasn't able to eat at all this morning. So she's going to eat that and rest with Eve who is in her spot. Look at this. She wants that cookie. <laughs> she's also staring at your pot too. Yeah, we're talking about you. So they're going to rest and I'm going to go do the vlog and then we'll either hang out in here to watch the rest of the movies or move out to the living room to watch American Psycho and the fighter and little, little women, women and dark night. all the good Christian bales. You gonna take care of Sarah for me while I'm doing the vlog? Yeah. Thanks, universe. The vlog is done. It is exporting. I think we really did the math yesterday. It's the first. This is the first time Sarah hasn't edited in like five or six months. So I need to get back to editing more on the weekends and stuff for her because she deserves a break. So she's resting, she's taking a nap, a nap, a nap. She's taking a nap right now. And I'm just gonna let her sleep as long as she sleeps. I'll get the vlog posted. I'm gonna try to edit the thumbnail in Illustrator, but honestly, that's Sarah's world. I used to be able to do thumbnails in Photoshop, but I'm not as well versed in these programs at a fraction of what Sarah is because that's her profession um, but I'm gonna see what I can do and then I am just gonna kind of relax I took the whole day off from work just in case Sarah needs it and right now she's napping but I'll need to get her some food and some other stuff later but it is 11 o'clock right now and productive day like awesome I really want to watch yesterday I pre-ordered on, on Apple TV, cause, but I, like, I'm like i going to go check because sometimes they put movies out on there while they're in theaters still, and I want that. Why, hello, I'm awake now. Um, Peter just ran to Walgreens to grab some snicky snacks for the night. We're going to have soup, just keep it light. Um, we are going to watch The Dark Knight. We love the Batman series with Christian Bale. Dark Knight is our favorite. We probably don't time ha, don't have time to do all of them if we want to watch Christian Bale movies we've never seen before. So I want you to comment below what Dark Knight, Christian Bale, Batman series movie you like best. We quote Dark Knight Rises a ton because I can do 
a mean Bane impersonation. Um, but I think we like the Joker and the fact that um, a lot of it's filmed in Chicago. So me and Eve are just hanging out. She's on the couch with me now. And we're just going to relax. I feel like that's probably exactly what Peter said last. But that is just our update. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Oh, what is it? Eve. There's somebody doing like construction work outside. Who is that? Are you very serious right now? Okay, so we got cool stuff in the night. We're in the the depths of the dark, dark night. We just got this big old box from the Petruses, and I have no idea. I know what one of the pieces are, but if either there's a lot of that one thing they told me about, or there's other things in here. Let's see. is this what on earth it's toasty and warm because it's so hot out oh look at your pretty card <laughs> dear sarah and peter made this blanket made this blanket was made with a prayer in every stitch not lilo <laughs> much happiness for you both love ma petrus this is grandma hack style yeah this is my mom's mom, my, my grandma on my mom's side. This is her stuff. I style, love but... those colors. Oh, this nice. is so, it's so warm right now because <laughs> it's been sitting in like a UPS or USPS truck in 95 degree weather in Florida. Let me take your picture like that and send it to the girls. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The girls told us about cookies that they sent. So those will come in a separate box, but I was not <laughs> expecting that. It gives me Tigger vibes. I, and they're big winning the poo people. Yeah. Well, it's almost but like Bumblebee. It also gives me Bumblebee and also gives me Charlie Brown. It also <laughs> gives me Pluto vibes. Like yeah. his like his coloring. But if you look closely, it's three it's four different three different colors. The black, the, the light, the light and the golden. And right? the golden. Lovely. I love it. It's a great size too. It's not small, but it's not huge. It's great for babushking. No, what do we say? What is our quote that we always say from that movie? The third, The Dark um, Knight Rises. We always say... Oh, we quote it, but it's a wonderful life. So, like, George Bailey says, it's a very interesting situation when Mary Zerone comes off. We say it in the main voice. Of Sarah. We don't. Sarah does. Situation. <laughs> so, we're gonna, we decided we're gonna watch Dark Knight Rises later, but first we're gonna watch American Psycho, because neither of us have ever seen it. But I wanted we're to show you. We're gonna watch Little Women still, right? Yeah, we're gonna do like American Psycho, Little Women, Dark Knight Rises. Okay. But we got chili, vegan chili to make tonight for dinner. I'm Some gonna. Rice? I'm gonna get that going in a little while probably. But I want to show you this cool Are you thing. No. Okay. Are you? No. I'm gonna show you this cool thing that my mom organized because she's super into genealogy. I think I've referenced it before, but it finally came in the mail. Yeah. And it's a super cool thing. Sarah and I say we've got like four major. Yeah. Ancestries. Yeah, we're both mutts, but like we each have two that like one are comes dominant. From our mom, one comes from our dad. Yeah. And it's like. So Sarah, we say is predominantly Irish Italian, and then we say that I am French Canadian German, and so my mom and my uncle did do a lot of genealogy stuff, and my mom has been working on a cool project with my uncle about the French Canadian like story, and look it up if you're interested about the. I'm gonna butcher the how you pronounce it, the Fedua, which is like. A French king sent a bunch of women to what is now Quebec and French Canada to go like start families and my mom and uncle like traced it back to what woman like came over to the new colony and then got it verified through the American French what is it the the American French genealogy society and got this cool certificate and this cool pin so there is the super cool pin it's like a lapel pin so that it's a descendant of the Fedua. And then this is the actual documentation here. So it says the American French Genealogy Society certifies that Peter Brian Burkhardt is a descendant of Margaret Lemain, a Fedua who immigrated from France to New France in 1670. This brave woman endured harsh conditions in a new world and was instrumental to the population of the colony. And if I remember correctly, when my mom told me about that, that she got it certified, 
that she certified that she was 12th generation, which would make me 13th generation, which would mean that the eggs that were extracted out of Sarah and the embryos <laughs> that we'll find out about tomorrow will be 14th generation French Canadian. Are they considered embryos tomorrow? No. Tomorrow. Well, no. They're not considered embryos until they get to the zygote stage. Day five. Day five. But okay. they're called zygotes. Like er, C-Y-T-O-T-E. When I went in today, they said... Ooh. Ooh yo, it goes like Uzot. Yeah. Uzot, Zyote, Zygote. Also, if you're interested in learning more about this from our doctor, he has a YouTube channel. And um, I'll put it in the description, but it was also posted on our Brookhart discussion group page. No, time to watch a creepy movie. Okay, we stopped American Psycho like halfway through. Um, that's an intense movie. I don't know why we ever thought we were going to watch that. Yes, don't watch that. We did not ever know what it was like really about. And um we just always know it was a cult Christian Bale movie. Yeah. The last cult Christian Bale movie that I knew of uh, was a little movie called Newsies and I'm obsessed with that. Newsies? American Psycho? <laughs> Farly different movies. Right. And we like just clicked to see how far along we were and it, we were like halfway through, so we're like let's go to a little uh, happier movie we know we love. So we're gonna watch Little Women. Eve's in this movie. All right, it is 7.50. We're well into enjoying Little Women, but I made us some spots of tea. We got our It's Good to Be Home mug. We got Great Things Take Time. We have Sarah's Infertility Tea. And then I've got, I had a few of these from my friends that got me these. From Hotel Chocolat, British Cocoa Grower. So this one's actually cocoa and ginger, and it's vegan friendly specifically. It says they're vegetarian vegan friendly, and Sarah's got her infertility tea. So we're going to enjoy these while we watch some Christmas-esque movies, if you consider Little Women a Christmas movie. And this little chicken, all day has been growling and barking at the stove, so I finally went and investigated. And there was a little pepperoni underneath the stove. So I gave her a treat because I wouldn't have known that was there, and I got it out. But now she's mad because she wanted the pepperoni. But you cannot eat the pepperoni. Peter's making us watch running stuff. We don't know that he could be running it. He's been kind of a tyrant today. She's over there. I just, want, I just want some potato chips, and I know she's going to freak if I get them, so I guess I'll start. Oh, well, we'll just wait until Matt comes home. Which will be late. It's tech week. We have a show to see this week. Newsies. We're talking about Christian Bale. I mean, the sad, real sad realization is now that it's like 9.40 that our night is coming to an end, which means my like long weekend, because I went to work on Friday, but like 13 to 20% of the office was there, so it was like a lax day in the office. So it hasn't been like full force work since Wednesday of last week. And Sarah and I are trying not to talk about how the fact that like our embryologist at the clinic knows how many of those, those 16 eggs are mature. We just don't know yet. And tomorrow morning, they'll know for a given a period of time how many are fertilized, and we won't know yet. And they have to call Sarah, and then Sarah's got to call me. I'll be at the office. So I wish I could just work remote days like this, because like, I'm confident the call tomorrow's going to go well. But either way, I'd like to be here to celebrate or sorrow with Sarah. No matter what. No matter what, I'd like to be here with Sarah. But... Oh yeah, as long as there's one. You only need one. If it's the right one. Quoting Little Women. I'm sure Sarah will go back and mark it, but today is the 8th of July. And the message for the day is by our boy, Henry David Thoreau. It is not enough to be busy. So are the ads. The question is, what are we busy about? There's another quote that's similar to that. It was in the back of like an Adidas notebook, the front of an Adidas notebook, so I don't know who the quote was by, but it was something along the lines of like, don't mistake movement for action. 
which is always like just because you're busy and just because you're moving doesn't mean you're doing good work make sure that the movement and actions you do are good what are you talking about i read the, the message we're gonna watch hocus pocus and eve needs water i think she's <laughs> all kinds of confused and needs to get comfy or she's gonna eat sarah's hair tie Thank you, everybody, for your amazing messages, because we posted on the internet in different ways on Facebook and Instagram and stuff that we had the 16 eggs. So thank you for the messages for anybody who did. Thank you for all the support. And we'll post how many. Yeah, tomorrow's a big day. For mature. Another big day. Fertilized. All these big days. <laughs> but it's great. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.